I don't know if he's dead though. What is going on everyone, today we are going to be watching reacting to Cube from 1997. This is a Patreon request from Scott, so thank you very much for the request. I have heard of this movie, but I've never seen any clips from it. I have no idea what it's about really. I, I think it's a horror film, but I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe it is. Like I said, haven't heard about it, so there's really nothing to talk about before we get to the reaction. So let's just jump right into this reaction. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, that'll be on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's watch this. I already see a lot of cubes in this room. <laughs> oh, is he in a giant cube? Is that what this is? Is it like a prison? Oh, well, that wasn't open for that long. Oh, and that room's red. So there's one of those on every side, right? And they're all different colors, too. What the fuck happened? What? What, what did he do? do what the fuck? Was there an invisible... Oh, did that just come out of nowhere? So I, I, I guess he failed whatever game this is. So is there just stuff all around these cubes trying to kill you? It's nice they have their names on their shirt. I'm assuming that's his name. So it's easier to remember their names. Damn. So this is kind of like Saw in a way, I guess. So this came before Saw, but I'm sure Saw took some inspiration from stuff like this, maybe. Stop! <laughs> oh, he's looking out for traps. Listen, we can't go climbing around in here. Why not? There's traps. What happened with that guy before must have been like way before this then. Probably a different situation. I feel like that old man's onto something. It's okay. I'm a doctor. Oh, that's useful. He's got something planned. Hey, old man. Did you hear what I said? I trust him. He's got something. <laughs> that's a good way to test the traps. If they're consistent traps, though. You'd assume they are, but I don't know. Motion detectors integrated into the walls. Tough to spot. Let's all just relax for a minute. This guy's definitely gonna be the leader. Only the government could build something this ugly. Oh, it ain't government. <laughs> then what is it? I mean, whoever it is has to have some money. It could be aliens. I could see that being the case. Maybe they're in space. This girl is definitely the nervous one of the group. That's the depressed one. <laughs> Makes sense why he has his leadership position here. Whole room's clean just because of that, though? I mean, there could be sensors on other parts of the wall, maybe. I don't know. And what's the point of just moving around these cubes if they have... It's a whole maze. There's a there's a new uh cube every side, so... Well, I guess if you keep moving in one direction, you should be good then, eventually, right? What is it? Serial numbers? Room numbers. They're different in each room. We have about three days without food and water before we're too weak to move. Well, they have to feed us, don't they? They don't gotta do anything. Suck on it. <laughs> Keeps the saliva flowing. Oh. This guy is so smart. Man. Sensor expert. Is he famous? This guy's the Ren. The what? He's the Wren. Blew the coop on six major prisons. The only reason I dragged you this far is because I need your boots. If you don't smarten up, I'm gone like that. You gotta save yourselves from yourselves. Yeah. I really hope he doesn't die. Nailed. No! <laughs> Their most useful guy is... I don't know if he's dead, though. Oh, he's... If he's not dead, he's at the very least going to be too wounded to do much. Is 
The boot trick can only work for so long, huh? Well, they their best man is dead now, so that's great. Oh, jeez. Ugh, that shit ate right through his brain. Levin, what are you? Nothing. I just go to school. We have to ask the big questions. What does it want? What is it thinking? Does it really matter? Why don't you tell us what your purpose is worth? I often wondered that myself. I think they just wanted very different people in here because they're all very different. That's probably it. I work in an office building doing office building stuff. I wasn't exactly bursting with joie de vivre before I got here. Life just sucks in general. So yeah, he is the depressed one. <laughs> What's your purpose, Quentin? Kids. Three of them. Your glasses. You don't need them. They're for reading. Well, they took off her jewelry, but they must have put these on you. If nothing's random, why are they here? I don't know. Is this like an escape room or some shit? Is that what this is? I can't believe I didn't see it before. See what? It seems like if any of these numbers are prime, then the room is trapped. Really? The acid room had 149. You remember all that in your head? I have a facility for it. Levin. You. <laughs> she better not die. She's gonna be really useful. Not sure what the guy's use is yet, but... Don't cheer yet. Okay. They're good. They're good. <laughs> I got scared for a second there. We have three boys. Nine. Seven and five. Good God. The poor woman, there's no way I'd survive that. Yeah. She didn't either. Oh. Uh, so they're all alone right now? Oh, okay. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. I was like, these poor kids are going to be all alone. Oh, no. You'll probably climb up the sides of the wall, maybe. Stuck. Oh, there was someone in there? <laughs> this room is green. Yeah. I want to go back to the blue room. What is it, shock or what? I think he's mentally handicapped. Yeah, most likely. Hey, I'm sorry to shake your foundations, Quentin, but you have no idea where your tax dollars go. Free clinic doctors? <laughs> Only the military industrial complex could afford to build something this size. Yeah, maybe. I think it's aliens. It's some rich psycho's entertainment. <laughs> Is that what you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're a cop. Single bullet theory. I do like how different all of them are. Is she choking? Oh my god. It's not the room, it's not the room, it's... No, no, she's choking on the button. Oh, she swallowed it. Not prime. So all it needs is one prime number and you can't go in there? Stop! In front of you! What? Why? Why? Well, how did you guys miss a prime number? Unless the rules changed or some shit. Shut up! <laughs> I don't know what happened. It wasn't prime. I trust her. Somebody stop that racket! <laughs> I had a feeling about that fucking guy. He knew about that trap. You think? How would he know? You're the paranoid one. Think about it. His only function so far has been to kick us when we're down. You're not, like, guaranteed to die when you go in a room with a trap, at least. So that's good. It's just very likely you will die. But he's just peeing. I guess they all have to pee at some point. But couldn't you do it in the room before? You could have done it in the other room, yeah. Couldn't you have gone back in the room you were just in before? Well, you're not getting out of here. Yes, we are. No, you're not. Yes, we are! There is no way out of here! Does he know something they don't? I don't know anything about the numbers or anything else in here. I was contracted to draw plans for a hollow shell. A cube. A cube? Why didn't you tell us? Because then they'd be blaming him, thinking he's... What it was. Yeah, but I get why he wouldn't say anything. Just so they wouldn't be looking at him like the villain when he 
was just doing a job. He didn't know what he was doing it for. But if this place ever had a purpose, then it got miscommunicated or, or, or lost in the shuffle. This is an accident, a, a forgotten perpetual public works project. You think anybody wants to ask questions? All they want is a, is a clear conscience and a fat paycheck. True. Why put people in it? Because it's here. You have to use it or you admit it's pointless. But it, it is pointless. That's my point. That has been his point the whole time. The fact that it's pointless, so we should just give up. You make me sick, Worth. He didn't really do anything wrong. He was just working a job that he didn't really know what it was for. Damn. We need him. He's the only one who knows anything about the place. And he doesn't even know that much. He just knows there's no way out, apparently. Are there any doors? This one door. There is a door. 26 rooms high, 26 rooms across, so 17,576 rooms. Wow. She is crazy at the mental math. Descartes. Cartesian coordinates, of course. Coded Cartesian coordinates. They're used in geometry to plot points on a three dimensional graph. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh. Definitely a trap. Oh, so some of them are sound activated? Obviously, it's different depending on the room. Oh, so you could technically go in that room as long as you were really quiet. <laughs> That's not worth the risk, though. I say we cross the bitch. Oh my god. See, so you all could probably manage it. Just kind of dangerous. And he's not coming, he's unpredictable. When we get to the edge, we can come back for him, but he'll get somebody killed here. You have to all go in the room one at a time, that's for sure. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, so once you open another room, it like automatically won't go off. Okay, I see. But then you gotta be scared of the next room too. <laughs> it's so fucking crazy. Oh, her glasses. Oh my god. No, do it one at a time. Take your sweet ass time with this. I feel like someone's gonna get killed. You gotta... No, just go. Stop doing anything. Oh god. Is he going the wrong way? Dude, this gotta be the most... Tense scene I've seen in a horror movie in quite some time. At least he's not yelling, that's good. Oh fuck. I guess you're good? He's a trap! Let him go right now! Oh, Lord, the jungle all the way. He's endangering the pack. Let him go, you Nazi! <laughs> what? Oh, it is the edge. But how the hell are you gonna get down from there? Someone has to swing over there and take a look. Swing? We make a rope. Well, you gotta see which way you have to go, as in, like... I would assume you have to go down. If there's gonna be any, like, way out, you gotta go down, right? That's as far as you go! There's nothing down here! I'll try swinging over there! Oh, God. Oh, God. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh man, he's fucking lost it. He's fucking lost it.
Holy shit. He's lost it. He could have easily pulled her up. What is he doing? Is he trying to... Is he gonna use... Oh god, he's gonna use her. We have to make it down to the bottom. It'll be quiet there and you can concentrate. They're just gonna leave the other two guys behind? The cube is us. Quentin. This dude is so weird. The perfect key is the beauty lock. The fuck happened to this man? He was a ch chill dude before. Oh, nice. Toss him in there. Just go, Quentin. Give us the boot, you pig. Damn. Shit. Well, thankfully, it was in a trap room. With him. <laughs> what do you mean, what's with him? What's with you? Don't tell me they circled around. Who's that? Oh my god, they went in a fucking circle. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the Ren. <laughs> Where are we? I have no idea how that's possible. How come there's nothing out there? It's the edge. We weren't at the edge before. Where's the room that killed Renz? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's why I thought it was impossible. Which must mean everything's moving. Permutations. Are you what? <laughs> How do we get out? Every time it makes the noises, it's probably moving. That's my guess. The rumbling noises. I know where the exit is. Oh. Yeah, but isn't it gonna move though? This thing is like a giant combination lock. When the rooms are in their starting position, the lock is open. But when they move out of alignment, the lock closes. With a structure this size, it must take days for the rooms to complete a full cycle. Yeah, she's definitely the most useful person here. Let's go. Uh, can you work the traps into the system? Fuck the traps. Let's get to the bridge. Well, you well, threw out our last boot, can't you just... fucking idiot. Yeah, exactly. At first I thought that they were identified by prime numbers, but they're not. They're identified by numbers that are the power of a prime. Okay, so? Well, that's even more confusing. The numbers are huge. But you can, right? She can. I'd have to calculate the number of factors in each set. Maybe if I had a computer. We'll figure it out. I can't! I'm not dying in a fucking rat maze! <laughs> There's no way I can factor that! I can't even start on 567! It's astronomical! She's definitely the best character. Factors? How many factors, Kazan? Two. Kazan, how many factors does 30 have? Three. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I do know a lot of people on a spectrum and stuff sometimes they have very, like, good memory on specific things that they're, they're really into. Eight died eight. Two. He's giving us the factors. Astronomical. Those numbers, the room should be safe. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Oh, come on now. Okay. Dude, he fucking tossed him in there. Have it open that door. Get Einstein working on the numbers. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I didn't realize he was doing that. Well, now you have to finish it. You have to kill him. You have to kill him. You have to, because he will beat all of you brutally, and he's way stronger than all of you, so. Nice. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Shit. He's on the ceiling. <laughs> Oh, 
he die? I kind of wanted to see him die from a trap, to be honest. I think that'd be a little more interesting. He could still be alive. I don't know. They are killing it now. Oh, God. Oh, God. That room's moving. No. No. And he's in the red room, too. Uh, was he in the red room? I don't know. I forget if that was red or not. I think it was, like, orange. Oh, you can try to find him from his screaming. <laughs> you don't have a lot of lives left. Ah! Nice. I didn't move. <laughs> what was that? Glass? From her glasses? Is this the room she started in? Word! Get back here right now! Five bags come drop. This room's next move takes it to the bridge! Oh, but he can't leave back Kazam! Mm. Come on, come on, Kazan, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. You gotta be right behind. You gotta come on. They got there just in time. Guess what? No. This is the room we started in. <laughs> we should never have moved in the first place. That is kind of funny. Oh, that looks like a different room, right? Someone's gonna get killed right when they go in there. You gotta go quick before it ch changes again. Oh, that's daylight. Get the fuck out of there. Go ahead. What are you doing? You can't quit now. It's not your fault. I have nothing to live for. So he was doing all of this just to get them out. You could make a life out of it. I can live with that. No! Oh, yes. I knew it. I fucking knew this piece of shit was gonna come back. I fucking knew it. Oh, God. Why did she have to die? Why did it have to be her? Are you fucking kidding me? This is gonna be the one- this is gonna be the guy to live? Oh god, is it gonna move? Oh shit. <laughs> it's gonna cut him in half. <laughs> they were so close. If he just didn't give up there, he could have gotten her out. And they're going all the way down. That is, yeah. It's a really shitty ending for him, huh? He's not even fully dead, so he's just gonna be sitting there. He'll bleed out, probably. At least one of them made it. What a wild ass movie. <laughs> and it just, I thought I was going to have the happy ending and I was like, fuck no. It's pretty good though. I really enjoyed that quite a bit. It had a lot to it. I think the way the rooms were designed was really cool. I'm assuming for the actual production of the film, they probably only designed like a couple rooms and just change the colors depending on the room they were in because they were all the same just different colors really and then they had the traps the traps were cool i would i would have hoped to see a little bit more traps so we didn't really get too many um but it was a cool i think it, it was really cool how this was designed it was cool how they were figuring it out little by little i like how the characters were all very different it all had a kind of a, a usefulness to the situation like they all played a role in something you got you know main main character of uh, the cop he was kind of like the leader then he kind of went crazy at a certain point, but he was mostly the leader who was kind of trying to keep everyone together in the beginning. Obviously you had the doctor, then you had um, the girl who was very good at math, and the guy kind of knew his shit about the place in general, uh, the doctor. The other guy was the escape artist, and then the other guy. Um, I, at a certain point, I had no idea what his usefulness was gonna be because he was just kind of there. But then obviously we learned that he's like a human computer basically in terms of uh, the factors of those big numbers so that was cool and uh, yeah it was a short movie it was short and sweet i don't think it really had much more to do so it didn't really have to be any longer than it was so i enjoyed this quite a bit so thank you very much for the request and if you guys want to see the full uncut reaction that'll be on my patreon uh which is in the description down below don't forget to also like the video and subscribe to the channel peace out